Hello, it is a beautiful Monday morning out here. We are actually down the street from my house. We are in Park Ridge, Illinois, and we are doing a very little uh, amount of tuck pointing. But the main thing here is we're gonna be doing some caulking. So I got Leo here blowing this out so I can get a nice uh, bond here. We're gonna be doing some tuck pointing right there. Just grind it out. Just a little bit there. You might patch up the lintel. Um, NT1 Master Seal. And then I got some uh, primer too to go with it. Now I'm keeping, I, I try to get most of this off of the concrete, but I'm keeping a little bit on there to use as a backer. So I'll be doing it toward the brick and then also here on the siding and the concrete. Uh, that's what the customer wanted. So um, we'll be doing that there. He was getting a little bit of, you know, a road, he was having a little bit of a rodent problem. So. We're going to go ahead and fix this and also I'm going to have Leo here patch the foundation um, Those little holes the customer wanted that also And uh, that's pretty much it. So right around here And then the caulking in the front I know you guys noticed my nice pan. I was just in Florida for for the weekend and It's pretty hot out there enjoying the Sun. I got to come back to colder weather not too happy about that but um well oh yeah i'm gonna get the caulk in here i'm gonna have leo get some good shots of this blow this a little better i don't want any kind of pebbles or nothing here so so yeah we'll get started there we go. okay nice let me shake this up What is it? It's a primer. Sausages, I like to use the gun because it's a lot easier for me. But cut it right in the tip, the biggest one. Come over here, I'll show you how to. I'm sorry, I'm prepping my breakfast here. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you how to lay it in there. You wanna do it too thick? This is for you, Jerry. You doubted me all these years. Now look at me, sir. Okay. Pump and dump, baby. Pump and dump. I actually taught Jerry how to do this. He didn't know this trick. Brand new tool here. Nice tool called a spatula. And basically just use the tip of it. So I'll show you how to do it first. And here we go. Let's push down the tip. 
And then I'm gonna make a swing back. So turn it around, don't leave it off the cocking. Make a swing back. Look at that. Look at that nice finish. Oh yeah. So you can keep doing that. You don't wanna play with it too much. Just wanna seal up the edges and stuff. Go. And then come on over here. Same thing. Try to use the tip. Airport all night last night. Why? Because we keep deciding to fly with Spirit, and Spirit's the cheapest one, and they just keep, you know, bringing us in like that. And we just constantly have problems with them, uh, and they lost our baggage. So I'm in the middle of dealing with that also. And yeah, so it's a lot of fun stuff I got on my plate right now. I lost all my Abercrombie and my Hollister, so I'm really, really mad at the point. You know, watch and learn, folks. God. I'll be back. Sounds good, thank you. Thanks. Ha ha, Jerry, I don't need you anymore to do my cocking work. I can do it by myself now. Oh, sad in it. No, you didn't. Hopefully. Oh my god. <laughs> well, Alex, you should be using Beckle Rod, so you're not using so much cock. You're wasting so much money. I don't care. I'm done to care. Why are you getting so close to the cock? Does it make you uncomfortable? Yes. All right, now you're gonna touch it. And yeah. I know I haven't been posting much. I've been a very busy man lately. It's hard to record. But I just want to at least put one out once every two weeks or so. Or more if I want to. I just don't like. I'm on a go, go, go all the time. I don't got time sometimes to be recording and stuff like that. So. I hope you guys can understand that and I think uh, it holds more value to me and my channel if I'm not oversaturating everything you guys let me know down in the comments what you think about that if you guys are okay with that if you guys want to see more videos I'm sure you do but at the same time I feel like if I'm oversaturating it you guys will get bored of it real quick so I kind of think the anticipation of waiting for a new video is a lot better here so I think that's what we'll do Don't you wish your boyfriend had cock like me? Don't you? Look at that. That is pretty, man. That is pretty. Okay. Wow, that's beautiful. Master Mason here, guys. I, I'm pretty versatile with everything. Cocking, chimney rebuilds, mortar work, all that jazz. Little Hershey kisses.
at the smoothness of that coffee. Let me see this little corner here. Make sure it's sealed up. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. Look at that, sir. Wow. That's pretty. Look at that. And a leaf already got into it. Oh, God. Take the leaf off, Leo. Real camouflage. Dang, that was beautiful. <clears throat> yep, real camouflage. Alrighty, guys, wrapping up. This was just the morning job. We have a, a smaller uh, chimney to take care of today, also. Um, just kind of moving slow. Today's Monday. Just got back from vacation yesterday. And so I just finished sure the finished product. Now I I I'm, I'm gonna pick up a different color. I'm gonna pick up a limestone color to uh caulk here between the concrete and the siding because that darker color just, just won't look too good. So I just wanna um show you guys the finished product here and this is how it's looking. See it's a little windy so we're getting a little bit of debris blown into there, but you can tell I like it. I think I think I think I did a good job. You guys, let me know what you guys think. But uh, but I like it. Here, I just kind of shot some in there, and I told the customer it wasn't gonna be perfect, you know. And then we also did some tuck pointing here that'll lighten up the natural mortar color. I'm gonna come back tomorrow and acid wash that, and then I also patch up the stairs. So that'll be that, and we're gonna go onto this chimney here and start that.